What is up guys, it's Marz here from Section Store once again and today we will be having a look at this little cookie banner section we brought out and I'm going to show you how you can customize the whole thing in a few easy steps and let's say we just get right into it. First thing you want to be doing is heading on over through the Shopify App Store where you want to be looking for the app I used for this, it's called Section Store. It's a component library with over 100 fully customizable components. After successfully downloading it, you can head back to the app area and look for this specific one right here underneath here and the next thing you want to be doing is clicking on explore sections type in cookie that's the cookie banner right now it's for free but it's soon going to be nine dollars again so you better be quick so you can get the sectioner it's going to be a one-time purchase of nine dollars and if it's a few bought it once you're going to own it forever all right sweet let's head back to the home area where we have to install the whole thing first. So just click on add it on live theme and then you are good to, to go. It's gonna work on every theme, so don't worry about that. And if you need any help, we are always here to help you. Sweet, then we're gonna go to the customization part. So you're gonna open up your editor and that's the one you saw in the beginning of the video. We're just gonna get rid of that. So just click on add section, type in cookie banner. That's the one we want and here we have it that is looking quite nice already you can customize the text here click on accept to keep going let's fix that typo quite happy with the little cookie right here we can change the text size as well if you want to have it a little bit bigger so you see that has to get saved up first and then it's actually reloading and the whole thing is going to work the max width of the thing is changeable as well so we just have to save it all up so it's actually doing its thing and then on the next step we can click on the accept button where we can do some customizations as well we type decline here but we're happy with how it's looking so we just click on accept customize the color as well and then the border radius would be changeable as well and as you can see there are a bunch more things we can actually change so if you want to have it on the right we can put it there we can enable the shadow but i think it looks good how it is and the text color is something we could change it all let's save it all up and have a look at it how it's looking in full screen and i think it looks quite nice we can just click on accept here it's going to disappear decline it's going to send us to a different page where you can set the link as well but that was it. I hope you guys found that useful. And if you did, always feel free to leave a like and a follow.